Welcome builders, Andy is Jordi here and welcome to the tutorial on how to build this Autobot from Transformers. It is Bumblebee, a fine looking robot from the Transformers franchise. This thing has got plenty of gold blocks to bring out the luster in the metal, yellow concrete, some hoppers, wire, it's got these iron bars, they call them wires, uh, levers, it's got yellow uh, banners, even, even a dragon head as well. I've got a list of all the ingredients that you're going to need here. Let me quickly run through these. You're going to need four polished Andy's Eurosites, four stone slabs, seven black wool, five go hold, no, sorry, 12 stone buttons, 16 stone stairs. That actually reminds me of a girl I used to know. She couldn't actually get upstairs. Nine observer blocks, six walls, four iron Trapidorus Maximus, 42 yellow concrete, 10 gold blocks, 10 Hooper hoppers, 10 levers, 11 iron bars, 3 anvils, 11, count them, 11 light weighted pressure plates, 2 stone pressure plates, 8 yellow banners, 2 white stained glass blocks and a partridge in a pair, so no, 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 2 item frames and a dragon heat as well. Thank you to Charlie Puth for helping me count because counting all these blocks was a bit tricky. We're going to build this up in layers. So starting at the feet, you're going to grab yourself four stone slabs, four polished Andy's sites, four black walls, and four stone brick stairs. As you can see, they're going to be placed upside down. Four stone buttons, and then we're going to grab um, our stone slabs to make a start. So I'm going to put the feet um, just here. I think that's going to fit in nicely. I've got these kind of marker points one and two, which I want to build the robot in between. Um, I'm just going to go there, gap of one, and then the next foot goes just there. Polished and the Isurosite in behind and then black wool representing the tires like that and then stone buttons on the outside like that and then the stone brick stairs for them upside down. Excellent. Okay we're going to move this five blocks in that direction and that lets us get on to the next level and for this level you're going to need stone brick stairs observer blocks and cobblestone walls, four <coughs> of each. So the feet go on here upwards like that and the observer blocks need to be f looking straight down. When you place them, you should have a nice arrow on the back. I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack, by the way, which makes things look just a little bit nicer, but still in default, of course. Okay, that's great, that's that level done. We can move the whole thing back a block and move on to the next level. So this is simply yellow concrete, iron trap doors, and levers like that. So yellow concrete is going to go on one, two, three, four. And then iron trap doors, one, two, three, four, like that with the levers on the back. And I'm going to flip those levers down uh, at the very end. Okay, so let's move it on to the next level. So this is going to be uh, level four, actually. And level four, as you can see, is made up of four gold blocks and yellow concrete. Yellow concrete simply going there and there with a block of gold on the outside. And then more blocks of gold on the back there and there. Pretty easy level, actually. Okay, I'm just going to move this on another five blocks ready for the next level. I'm going to grab a temporary blue wool block, actually, because you can see that these are... These are the hands. You can see they're kind of floating out here. So we need to get that exactly right. So first of all, let's grab the other ingredients. We've got stone brick stairs and hoppers for of each. So for the stone brick stairs, we're going to go there and there. Then I'm going to grab my temporary block and I'm going to go there and there with my temporary block. And that lets me put in the hand, which is going to be connected on just there so hopefully that's exactly in the right place two blocks out and one block back two blocks out and one block back so we'll just do that one as well the little hand fits on there you can get rid of your temporary blocks there and there now for the middle part of this we've got a hopper which is just simply straight up and down and then stone brick stairs upside down one and two at the back and that is level five complete okay we can move this back again and just carry on with the next level up so we've got a couple of gold blocks four golds uh, sorry yellow concrete we've got observer blocks two of them and two 
cobblestone wall. So we're going to get this all exactly lined up. Let's do the hands first of all. So we've got blocks of gold on top of the hands with yellow concrete in behind, kind of forming the bottom part of the arms. Um, looks like we've got observer blocks and they're going to be right above this block and this block again. We could just double check that here. As you can see, they're fitting right in there, right above the upside down stone brick stairs and you get that beautiful little arrow shape as well. Okay, great. Um, so next we have, as you can see, we've got yellow concrete on the inside there and there. And then we've got some wall blocks to put in and the wall blocks just simply sit in front of the observer blocks like that. Fantastic. Okay, let's move the whole Autobot back one. Let's clear my inventory and grab our next blocks. Okay, plenty of uh, detail on this level. We've got yellow concrete times eight, couple of observer blocks, couple of levers. We've got four buttons, I think, four buttons so far, couple of hoppers and two stone brick stairs. Okay, so let's do the arms first again. Simply up and up with our um, yellow concrete. Do we have any buttons or anything on them? No, okay, so we've got a gap of one and then two more yellow concretes like that oops now we definitely have a button going on the detail there and there okay so let's get that exactly right so there and there there and there with those buttons great now we can move to the middle section so we've got observer blocks again kind of facing up the way like that and on the front of the observer blocks we've got a couple of levers down the way and down the way kind of forming the midriff of Bumblebee. Right, um, we've also got two stone brick stairs upside down at the back there and there. And I'm gonna place another temporary block here. It's gonna make it yellow this time. Temporary block there, because what I want to do is put this hopper there, facing onto that block. Get rid of it and put another one facing there. And that kind of makes the undercarriage, if you will, uh, the underneath of Bumblebee right there. It looks very, very smart with these hoppers facing in to each other, great. Okay, let's clear my inventory. Let's move it back another few spaces and then we can grab here. Um, so we've got hoppers, we've got anvils, we've got light weighted pressure plates times two, three black wools, another stone brick stair, couple of iron bars, and actually it's four hoppers in total. So it's kind of elbow time here for this Autobot. There we go four hoppers on there forming the elbows. As you can see, the anvils go at the front, one, two, three, with black wool, one, two, three, in behind, like that. A couple of iron bars, one and two, like that. That's all looking fine. The weighted pressure plate, which we're lucky is nice and gold, goes there and there. And then we've got one more block on this level, and that is simply upside down stair right there. Excellent. Okay, just one, two, three, four levels uh, to do. So I'm going to clear my inventory and just move it back again. Makes it nice and easy for me and hopefully you watching at home. So we're going to grab here some yellow concrete. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine of those blocks. We've got iron bars, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stone bricks there and a block of gold. Let's start with a block of gold. It goes right in the middle at the front and we wrap around some yellow concrete like that there we go um, we can go on to the arms as well one two three four upper arms done that time now we've got some detail to put in let's start with the stair block to make it easy at the back like that so this fits nicely at the back and i think we've got some nice iron bars to wrap around as well a couple of details at the front so we've got one there kind of one sticking out and then these ones just as you can see wrap around the corner at the back one two three four two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's what I should have counted. Okay, awesome, I clear my inventory. We're gonna move this back again, another five blocks, and we can grab our third last level. So it is yellow concrete, blocks of gold, stone buttons, plenty levers, and some black wool, and our first yellow banners as well. Okay, so the gold looks like it goes right in the middle again and we're going to really wrap quite a big bit 
of concrete around that with an extra two on the side like that there we go forming the kind of the shoulders of this creation lever 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 like that and then we've got gold blocks at the front on upper arms with yellow concrete in behind definitely got some buttons to do as you can see so we've got buttons on the outside of the gold on both sides and then where else we've we got buttons at the back we've got buttons at the back like that and like that um, oh we've forgotten this or I've forgotten this the black wool goes here and here these are the tires again if I not put buttons on those tires they should really have they should really have stone buttons there oh no they have stone buttons on the top I have done it fine I've done it fine I've done it fine they should have stone buttons on the top. You can see them kind of floating there ready for the next level. So they're coming up. What we do want to do is yellow banners there and there. So the stone buttons represent the, the, the middle of the tires, don't they? Okay, that's that level done. Just two more levels to go. Let's move this robot back the way. Boom, like that. And we're going to grab, looks like we've got uh, two, four, six yellow banners. We've got the observer block, four lightweight pressure plates, two stone pressure plates, a dragon heat, and two stone buttons. Okay, so the little observer block um, is gonna go, ooh, it's gonna go there. You do that, don't you? And you get the little face at the front. Ha ha, there we go, little robot face, super cute. And then if you put yellow banners there and there, it looks like the side of his face, which is super cool. And then kind of a little sort of neck or machinery at the back, the dragon head just facing in the way looks really really cool i'm loving that so far okay so we're going to scatter these lightweight pressure plates one two one two like so Ooh, we do have some more of these yellow concretes to go above our levers to form kind of the, the upper shoulders one let's get these placed perfectly excellent and then what else do we have to do Ooh, yeah, we've got some more yellow banners just forming some detail in the upper shoulders. One, two. Oh, one, two. And that is it for that level. Apart from we've got stones to put in. Stone buttons, I should say. And I think we've got a couple of stone pressure plates there and there. Whew, nearly finished. That is the second last level. Quite a complicated little level, actually. Let's move it back another five blocks and we're going to grab our finishing details five lightweight pressure plates one on his head and two there like so on both sides he's looking pretty cool hey do check out my other transformers there's a list link in the down below to the playlist where i've got other transformers like optimus prime and just to finish things off we've got the headlights here the beetle headlights we've got a couple of item frames and i'm putting white stained glass turned once like that and the very very last thing we're going to do is to flip these levers and that puts his kind of this is boots in place and that is the robot complete thank you so much for watching it's very much appreciated and i'll see you with another video on my channel very very soon indeed ciao ciao with the blocks be with you got a little visitor here who's this who's this guy pesh catch hello looking like santa thanks for watching everyone Thanks again to my top donators on Recharge. Recharge with three A's. Recharge.com forward slash Andy Zoda. Thanks, guys.